Hi, this is Lisa from Low Cooking Rubber Stamp. Have you got a chance to check our 2019 fall new design? If you haven't, make sure you go to our website. We are offering great pre-order promotion. Check it out. Today I would like to give you a preview of our new coming product. Those are low cooking rubber stamp match blending sponges. They come with 10 sponges a box and each individual sponge is come with a storage container. So we are um, in the final stage of making the foundation base. We're going to offer the first 100 order. We're going to give these a free foundation base. Um, so those bases are going to be made by the acrylic and uh, just make sure you follow us on the Facebook, subscribe our YouTube channel, or um, sign our newsletter. As soon as uh, when they are confirmed and available, we are going to take a pre-order. So stay tuned. Okay, so that's the start today's the tutorial. I'm going to show you how to make this beautiful car. Um, in this car, I didn't even use the stamp to make this car. I'm going to show you with our brand new combo set how many different cars you make. So this is just one of them. And this is uh, um, the one that was a stamp image. So we are going to use uh, this uh, combo set. Um, it's called mm -hmm. We Are No Angels. So it comes with a big stamp and also two matching die. And please make sure you check out other tutorial, um, like tutorial 85. There's a lot of different ideas to show you how to use this double um, die set to create the too many different kind of endless creation. So just the basic uh, craft tools. Something is important is uh, this uh, double side tape. This is a reposition or removable tape. We are going to use this one to make uh, our uh, masking. And uh, um, die base impact, few different colors. And uh, of course our brand new blending sponges. And some watercolor paper, some glossy paper for mounting. And we are going to use uh, uh, our number one cell background stamp. This is the word. Uh, it's different uh, definition of love from the from the dictionary. So most of the time, um, when I use uh, my die cut, I don't really bother to make a um, guiding window. But because of this stamp set, I have a lot of a uh, bubble area. So I want to, if you want to use uh, this stamp set, want to make sure you have a perfect line up. So what I will do is I will create a guiding window. Guiding window once when you create it, you can use again and again. So what you do is just use a piece of regular cardstock, put your die cut on top, and run to machine and cut it out. After you cut it out, you create a guiding window. So you can just uh, um, place on top of your stamp image and and then those bubbles, everything will align up. So it's good things. If you like to get more information, check our DVD library, how to create a guiding window. And in that tutorial, we'll show you step by step how to do it. But in today's tutorial, uh, we don't uh, have a stamp image, so we don't have to worry about the line up. But uh, so what we're gonna do is we are gonna create our own stencil by using part of your image. We are just going to grab a piece of regular cardstock and we're going to just uh, die cut it. So just grab a piece of uh, regular cardstock, preferring like a 60 pound or less, you don't want it very thick, and uh, just run to the machine. I will be right back. Okay, so every machine is different. Um, sometimes when you use a very detailed, intricate die, you want to make sure that you have a clean cutting line before you remove your die cut. And remember, I always say, use a dryer sheet to rub the back of your, your die cut. That way will prevent uh, your paper stuck on your die cut. See, I rub it before and then when I try to remove uh, the, the die cut, it's just like that. Remember, use a dryer sheet, just rub the back of your your die cut and that's what we create, something like that. In the old the Local Kings uh, 2009 combo set, um, the die cut, they, after you cut it, they will still attach on your paper. Don't think that's the fact item, that's the design to um, for the shaker card. So if you um, you will find the little hinges around it, easily break it up or use a craft knife. So that um, I leave that option over there. So you decide what we what would you like to do. So see how easy I kind of just break it out that hinge. You can keep this one for later on. So this is what to look like. And then we are going to. 
I am going to use a uh, um, little scissors to trimming off the two angel fish and we're going to use that one as our um, stencil. Okay, so that's what it look like after I trim off the, the, the circle frame. So you can um, you can use this too as your stencil in the direction you like. So I am going to just rotate it, flip over, make um, these two fishes go in this direction. Okay, so now we are going to grab my watercolor paper here. So I'm going to pull this one, we can see a little bit better here. And the two fishes here. Now is the time we are going to use uh, this uh, um, double side tape. So those tape, they are removable tape. What you can do is you can use the post-it uh, note. Um, you can cut the post-it notes, you can find the larger sheets, you can use the Eclipse, doubles, um, Eclipse mask, uh, masking um, sheet, but I think that has been discontinued, it's a little bit hard to find. So what we're going to do is to, um, oops, this way, oh, yeah. So we're going to flip over and then we're going to just do this. So that's for this, oh, this one I do the wrong direction, that's okay, so I'm going to do this. So put the tape here and make sure is uh, your fish is going the same direction like that. And then in the back, I put a lot of uh, um, removable double side tape on top to put, uh, make sure secure secure this fish on my uh, watercolor paper when I start blending. So we are going to start with a large fish. Okay, so we are going to um, use this Kaleidos color, it's from the Tsukiniko, it's called the Blue Breath. And uh, I like to use the dye based impact for blending. Of course you can use a pigment, but the pigment impact it looks like it takes a little bit longer to dry and uh, they kind of milky. So if you have a dye based color like uh, uh, Marvi, even like the District Ink, any kind of dye based impact will work just fine. I like this impact because they usually come with a phytium color and the color is so bright and the quality is awesome. They just ink well. They do come with a refill. So in the back, they have those refill numbers and then you can just buy the refill and re-ink. So one ink will last them forever. And uh, so that's started. We're gonna use these brand new uh, or magic uh, blending sponges. Um, you can see on the surface is kind of because I use it already. You can see the surface is kind of dark blue, right? But when you apply on the paper, it's actually nothing there. And I'm going to show you how to taking care of your um, your your um, sponge and how to clean that. So first, we're gonna working on our large. Angel, angel fish. I put the re, uh, removable double side tape in the back and I'm going to use there kind of press it but just in case I suggest you still try to hold it um, before I uh, still hold it. Oh I missed one more. Um, let's see I missed. No I think that will do. Okay let's do this. So we're going to use uh, our um, sponge and to pick up the light color first and then you are going to just kind of holding your angel features in case and then start from inside and the brush out okay and apply again inside brush out and make sure that stencil the angel fish is not moving okay brush again um, I found that brush is easier to pick up the color. If you tap, um, they, they, pop, they, they probably don't pick up enough color. And then from inside out, oops, see my fish is kind of swing away. So what you can do, you can put more and um, remove the tape. Okay, just I'm going to just hold it with my finger inside out. Okay, that's what it looks like. And you can use tweezers. So that's a masking. And then we are going to remove again a little bit, um, change the space. And then going to pick up a little bit lighter color again. The trick is you are going to um, start from inside out and then kind of like a pick up your brush like this. Okay. 
in. So those uh, um, sponges are awesome because they can blend in so well. I found that most of the, the brushes on the market, they kind of take a while to get the, the coat that you want. So our sponge brush, uh, our sponge, um, it works so well because they pick enough color just like the first time. Okay, and I am going to just, uh, you can um, cut part of an image that's totally fine. Once when your paper get a little bit color, it's a little bit harder to um, your your stencil stick because your paper is kind of moisture and wet. So just make sure you use your finger holding um, your fish. Don't let it go away. This time we can move to the second color because our sponge is from light to the dark. You don't have to worry they are contaminated. So they will become darker color. Again, remember light to the dark, gently um, kind of brush from inside out and that's what it look like and now we are going to find my small fish and we're going to work on the small fish so this is our small fish here and you can put any place you like and we're going to use the third color the middle color okay and to put put your fish any place you like okay so again inside out pretty see this is how I create my background and now we're going to use the fourth color getting darker and darker I love um, I always want to have my own um, blending um, tools so I've been doing a lot of research try a lot of different kinds of sponges I love these sponges because they come with their own color so blue goes with blue and uh, green goes with green they won't mix um, I hate sometimes when you have like a one individual color you don't see the color on top and then um, your sponge end up to be so dirty and then when you apply on top because you can't see it and that always ruining your artwork so that's what uh, the blue color look like and then just a change keep changing the spot okay like these light to the dark okay now so far they look like that I think it's so pretty already I'm going to get my um, Pick a fish again, and we're going to do a little bit darker color. So I'm going to use my darkest blue, and I am going to find the, just a, any place you like. Put middle, and the trick is really from inside out. So. That's uh, the foundation color, isn't that pretty? Okay, and then now is the how I'm going to show you how to. So if you use the last color we use is blue, right? And then when you blend on um, brush on the scrap paper, you will see there is uh, like a dark blue. So how we're going to clean it? I suggest you don't wash it. If you wash it, the sponge is going to kind of absorb all the water that kind of grew like two times bigger you can do it but I really don't suggest that you do that because after you do that you have to make sure you, before you want to use it you want to make sure your sponge is completely dry so this is what I do I you can use a stamp shami and if you don't have one just use a wet cloth that they all do and don't try to kind of brush on top you're going to use your, your um, um, shami just to kind of squeeze Kind of just squeeze, absorb the old ink on top. Few times. So kind of just squeeze, don't brush it. If you brush it, maybe damage the surface. Just squeeze. Okay, and that's right. Okay, and squeeze again. Make sure your shim um, your shiming or your um, cloth rack is uh, clean. See all the colors on my shiming? Okay almost there or what you can do is kind of like a brush of your um, extra color in the, on the paper on the scrap paper and then again okay see almost uh, come off all all the color almost come off from your sponge kind of squeeze hard and keep cleaning 
only use water you don't need something um, fancy and uh, I don't use uh, this drop with alcohol ink because uh, so we all know alcohol ink is a uh, uh, is a permanent impact if you put alcohol ink on your your um, your sponge is going to stay like that and uh, I won't suggest you um, to use alcohol um, ink but I haven't tried yet but you can try see now it's almost Clean. Even though on the surface it still shows blue, but it's ready for the light color again. If you use the light color, and they still it will still show the light color. Okay. Okay, that's finished the rest of them. So I am going to add a little bit of script um, in the middle of this car. So what I do is that I just push all those ink impact and I kind of just rub horizontal, horizontal, just like a half bottom of this uh, board stamp and uh, choose uh, the place you want. And then we are going to just gently um, rub the middle of this car so that way we only get a partial of the stem image. And I already use a or corner die to cut this four corner. So this is a, or old design. We have these four corners, and uh, we have the other new design. Um, is the Asia Asian corner. So that's what it look like. And check our website. You can get these uh, corner set for free by ordering the A and B set. So this Asian corner, you can do the vertical, and also you can uh, work as horizontal. And uh, this is our old, um, old corner um, Z, um, Z shape uh, corner die set. So check out the website, they're all available. And then the rest of them is that we are going to just put a phone tape and put this uh, fish on top. But before we do that, I kind of find that these two fish is kind of blending um, with my foundation card. So I'm going to do a little bit final touch up. Okay, we are going to use the pigment impact so you do can use pigment impact and this is called brilliant and it is a galaxy gold and we are going to use our black dabber uh, we don't really use a black color often so I decide that I'm going to use my black color for the messy stuff so we're going to just gently brush brushing is always the best way to pick up the ink you can tap a little bit and you can see the colors on top and we are going to just pick up my angel fish like this and kind of just rub some color on top give it some kind of gold um, glowing outline to make uh, this fish kind of pop out from the background and I'm going to deepen a little bit again do my small angel fish okay like that and I'm going to brush this out a little bit more color again and do the outline kind of gently brush okay. like this and now when I put my fish on top my fish is kind of just pop out more and then you can just stamp any saying you like and to put a little bit of this uh, um, I don't even know what it's called some embellishment on top and that's a beautiful card without the stamp so what do you think let me know and so that's our new product is coming soon and please please uh, send me a message and let me know what do you think and thank you for watching this tutorial I hope you like it and we have a more coming out tomorrow thank you for watching and see you next time